I'm Beth Castley with your World News Update. Here are your top five stories from around the globe. Protesters in China continue to hold down the streets in Hong Kong. The student-led protests center around the upcoming 2017 elections that China promised would be completely democratic, but instead decided to vet the candidates. This is the biggest protest in Hong Kong since 1997 when the British granted China control over the city. And we can't seem to go a week without talking about ISIS. The British military carried out their first airstrikes against the terrorist organization today. The Royal Air Force dropped a bomb on ISIS weaponry that was shooting at Kurdish ground forces in northern Iraq. They also shot a missile at an ISIS pickup truck. Both strikes were successful. Now to Japan, where a volcanic eruption has left 36 people dead. Mount Ontake exploded on Saturday without warning, killing hikers in its path. Authorities estimate that there were 200 to 250 hikers in the area, but most of them were able to get away safely. Seismologists warned that another eruption could be imminent in the next few days. According to the World Wildlife Fund, the world's animal population has decreased by half in the past 40 years. The, world wild, the WWF says the decline comes from too many people killing and eating animals as well as destroying their habitats. The report is released every two years, and 2014's comes with the strongest warning of the risks that come with the decline in the world's wildlife. Not only are animals being affected, but humans could face consequences as well, including billions in economic losses. Continuing with environmental disasters, the fourth largest lake in the world has disappeared. The once expansive Aral Sea in Kazakhstan has completely dried up since it started shrinking 14 years ago. The land that is now exposed is a toxic desert riddled with fertilizers and chemical runoff. Scientists said that the lake's disappearance has also affected the local climate, making winters colder and summers hotter. And now you're updated for the week. Back to y'all at the desk.